Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with the Star Wars The Force Awakens Black Series action figure 2 pack that's being called Escape from Destiny. I don't know, maybe after we've seen the movie that'll actually make sense. The set includes Poe Dameron and the First Order Riot Control Stormtrooper. It's exclusive to Target in the US and at Argos here in the UK, which is where regular viewers will have seen me pick it up in my last toy hunt video. Now looking at the packaging back, we do get some biographical information. So First we have Poe Dameron, which I think sounds like something your doctor might prescribe you take twice a day, at least six hours apart, but no, in fact he is an ace pilot, a leader in the resistance's fight against the evil First Order. He soars into battle much faster than Light Flash Gordon. What? No, he soars into battle behind the controls of a modern X-Wing fighter, Poe Dameron. Then the First Order riot control. Stormtrooper armed with specialized weapons, spells, and illusions. Enemies crumble in fear and confusion. The First Order's riot control stormtroopers are trained to subdue crowds in the most ruthlessly efficient manner possible. Here they are out of packaging, and some folks might be most excited for Poe Dameron, who in this garb is exclusive to this set, whereas the First Order riot control stormtrooper is your previously released First Order storm trooper with the addition of a couple of new weapons. Yet what with me previously skipping picking up the stormtrooper, this is my first time getting my grubby little mitts on one. Exciting! And I like it! The sculpt of the armor's really good, there's not much going on in the deco but then it doesn't really need it with the simple contrast between black and white being very effective and striking. But not much to complain about as it's basically the stormtrooper I grew up knowing, loving and hoping hoping wouldn't burn my aunt and uncle alive, leaving me to discover their smoking skeletal remains. Sure, it adds a couple of twists and tweaks to the design, but nothing that reinvents the wheel. I mean, most noticeably different is the helmet. Yet still in its design it more freshens the winning formula as opposed to rocking the boat. And what puts the riot control into this riot control stormtrooper are his weapons, exclusive to this set, for the time being anyway. They include this, I guess I'll call it a baton. I think I've seen a TV spot where this extends and a stormtrooper armed with it clashes with Finn and his lightsaber. It's cool, but alas, in the First Order Stormtrooper's right hand, it's a super loose fit as that's sculpted to hold the weapons it originally came with as a single release, which we also get here, with his right hand having a super tight grip on them with the trigger finger being sculpted to nestle right into the trigger guard of each of the weapons. Yet with Without the left hand sculpted without a poised trigger finger, the two guns are a loose fit in that hand. However, his left hand, unlike the right hand, does hold a nice tight grip on this baton weapon. But that presents its own problem as he comes packaged already with the shield attached to his left arm, and boy is it a headache to get off. I mean, you could try applying some heat to pop the hand out, either with a blow dryer or running under a hot tap, or place him on a space heater. However, I'd be concerned that applying heat might warp the shield. So instead, I'm trying to pry the shield off of the arm, there's one hand free, just need to release his hand of this second strap and there. The shield itself is quite interesting to me as I'm pretty sure we're yet to see it in live action as of yet, but the origins of Stormtroopers with shields go way back to Ralph McQuarrie's original concept art for the first Star Wars movie. And yes, they were armed with lightsabers. In fact, if you've ever wondered what that tube on the back of a Stormtrooper's armor was for, well, rumor is that that originates from where a Stormtrooper would have stored their lightsaber. So baton tightly gripped in the left hand, now it's back to trying to wrestle this shield onto his right arm. There, and I love this look. I mean, the guns are cool, but we all know with them a stormtrooper can't hit a target, literally if their life depended on it. So I like the idea of them being armed to beat the crap out of you, up close and personal like. But back to his long range offense with his larger gun and that can be stored into the port in his leg, which is nice. So for the most part, I'm really liking this Stormtrooper. However, my biggest criticism, and let me know if you're suffering from the same problem, and that is that he never feels particularly stable standing on his feet. You can see him wobble as he turns on the turntable there. Perhaps his feet are too small, certainly not helped by the curving up of his toes, so he's prone to rocking back and forth, giving me vision 
visions of him diving off the display shelf. Now moving on to Poe Dameron, and I have to say a bit anticlimactic after the riot control stormtrooper. The muted tones, the vaguely militaristic garb, it don't excite me too much, not like the stormtrooper does, but then stormtroopers are a quantity that we already know and love. Poe Dameron, we don't. Yet. And I say yet, as for all we know, we might all come out of seeing The Force Awakens being like that Poe Dameron, though, as everybody grabs this set, tosses aside the Stormtrooper, and hails Poe Dameron as the new Boba Fett. But for now, it's just a guy in a beige jacket who could do with a shave. Woo! As for the likeness to actor Oscar Isaacs, who's playing Poe Dameron, I'm not sure. I have seen him in Ex Machina, where he plays the creator of the AI, yet in that he has a shaved head and a big beard, nothing like this. And then again familiar to me as being underneath all that Ivan Ooze style makeup from pictures from X-Men Apocalypse, where he'll play the titular villain next year again. Not like this. Very noticeable though is that they've really overpainted his hairline down onto much of his forehead. It reminds me of an emo phase I went through in my teen years where trying to dye my hair black I ended up dyeing half my forehead black too. For an accessory, he comes with this gun, or as this is Star Wars, I probably should be referring to them as blasters, but just look how warped it's come out of the packaging. It proves to be a nice tight fit in his right hand, yet with a barrel as warped as it is, he's the only person in the galaxy who's a worse shot than a stormtrooper. And for some much needed jazziness, he comes with his X-Wing helmet, I guess. It's got a yellow translucent plastic visor and then some really nice deco on it, quite detailed. He can be posed holding it in his hand, but more importantly, let's see if we can wrestle it over his head. And it's proving to be quite the wrestling match. Yeah, I think I finally have it on there. Oh, there. Now that's much more Star Wars-y, isn't it? In the back, though, it does expose quite a lot of his kind of lower head there. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Trouble is, if I rock it back, then the visor's no longer over his eyes in the front, so it's a pick-your-poison type scenario. Now looking at articulation and the heads of each rotate and they're both able to look down, then the Stormtrooper is able to look up while Poe, it seems, is inhibited by his hair and jacket collar there. At the shoulders, the arms of each rotate and they both move up to about a right angle to the body. And I like the engineering of the Stormtrooper. It looks like the shoulder armor might inhibit the articulation, but instead it kind of nestles up into the joint. At the elbows, they both have rotation and a hinge, although it seems Poe hinges up more and then at the wrists both have rotation, and then the hands are hinge moving down and up. Neither have waist rotation, instead they have rotating diaphragm joints, and that joint on the Stormtrooper moves backwards and forwards, but it doesn't seem to on Poe. At the hips, the legs of each move out about the same amount as they do forward, but then it seems the Stormtrooper's leg moves back more. The Stormtrooper does have upper leg rotation, however I do like they've not let that interfere with the integrity of the sculpt of the leg armour. Instead forming a lip that rises above and beyond the point of rotation, whereas Poe has more standard upper leg rotation, both have double jointed knees, then at the ankles they both have feet hinges, plus those ankle rocker pivots that I love, and taking advantage of those ankle rocker pivots. This is each of them stood at their widest stance possible, still with both feet flat on the floor. I'd say Poe takes it in a limbo contest. Only just. So yeah, pretty decent articulation, I suppose, but a problem that persists with me for the Black Series is the lack of range of movement you get out of the elbows. I mean, for characters that are wielding weapons, whether they be blasters or lightsabers, I just want more out of the elbows. So while I can just about get the Stormtrooper into a pose where he's holding his blaster with both hands, Poe Dameron, the pose ability, just comes up a bit too short to allow that, which is unfortunate. But ultimately, I'm going to give this set a recommend, especially if, like me, you're yet to pick up a First Order Stormtrooper. As with this set, you get just that. And then Poe Dameron, well, it's hard to even be lukewarm when it comes to him, as it's not a particularly exciting action figure of a character that, until we see the movie, we know next to nothing about. 
But at Argos, I picked this up for $29.99, reduced from its regular retail price of $39.99, and you'd pay $21.99 for a regular single black series action figure. So at $29.99, it's essentially like paying the regular price for the Stormtrooper and getting Poe at half price. Not bad. Anyway, click this video for more Star Wars in the form of the Disney Store exclusive Elite Series Darth Maul, and I hope to see you next time. Mm. His strength is a legend. And his skill conquers all, armed with his power, we never shall fall. Bye.